try. Here on this rail behind me, I have picked some of my favorite spring clothes. So if you're interested and want to see my little spring guide, <laughs> keep watching. So first I would have to start with the white shirt and I'm not talking about like the classic white shirt but the new take on the classic white shirt. So what I mean by that is white shirts with ruffled sleeves like puffy sleeves or flared bell sleeves with waist bells on them, different cuts. I have three white shirts to show you, one of them I'm wearing it at the moment so you can see this is like my favourite one, that's why I decided I would wear it today, I absolutely love this one. You can also see how I styled it here and uh, yeah I really like this one, it's super comfortable because it's slightly oversized and I absolutely love the sleeves, I think they're very like flattering and cute and you can definitely wear that to work as well. The next white shirt I want to show you is this Balor top white shirt. I like to tie the front of it in a knot and I think it looks really really cool like this uh, but you can see it on as well. It also has a wider sleeve so it's very trendy and I really like it as well. This is a asymmetrical white shirt so as you can see the front is slightly shorter and then the back of it is really really long so I thought I'll show you like three different options if I can't find the exact same ones I'm showing you right now I'll find something very similar so I'll link it down in the description box also a huge trend this spring is a denim jacket I keep seeing denim jackets in all like high street stores high-end stores, premium brands as well. This jacket I wore in my previous video, it's my questions and answers video, it's really really cute, absolutely love the bold detail here. I always get so many compliments when I wear this jacket and ripped jackets are also very trendy this season, so this is ripped as well, it has rips on the sleeves and uh, down here, but I absolutely love this detail here, I think it's very like uh, cute and like center on. <laughs> what do you guys think? But yeah, I keep seeing denim jackets everywhere, uh, different denim jackets with embellished details on them with like little stones. So I think denim jackets are a huge trend this season. I will also talk about pastel colors uh, a bit later in this video, but um, I wanted to mention pastels now because I see denim jackets in pastel colors, which are really, really cute. So I'll definitely add a baby pink denim jacket in my wardrobe as well but denim jackets never go out of style so I think it's a must in your wardrobe anyway but if you want to make your jacket more trendy you can add a choker or maybe make a denim choker from an old pair of denim jeans you can also add some patches patches are very trendy as well you can also sew on some rhinestones crystals so I'll continue with denim and I had to mention the mum jeans so this is out of my comfort zone you know me I'm a huge fan of skinny jeans and I wear skinny jeans all the time and I wasn't sure at first when I picked up this pair of mum jeans <laughs> but I actually quite like them, they look really cool, all my friends keep telling me that they look amazing on me, I'm still not like 100% sure but they're so comfortable, I literally can't stop wearing these ones I got these ones, oh they keep falling off the hanger, so these mum jeans I got from H&M and I absolutely love them, they have some rips on the knees here and I love to roll up the bottom bit as well, I think it looks really cool. They are so comfortable and they are a huge trend this season as well. I will definitely be buying more mum jeans and I really want to buy embellished mum jeans, I will link some down below. I don't have embellished ones at the moment to show you, I think they will be perfect for a night out. Next, moving on to a huge, huge trend this season, and it is red. I see red everywhere. On my recent trip to Harrods, I noticed that more and more designers have um, red in their new collections, and I also saw it on the runways, and actually uh, noticed because I went to Dior, so I did buy something red from Dior, you've probably seen this bracelet that I also wear as a choker, I'll talk about it a bit later as well. I saw that the new season bags are red and they're really beautiful red, they're not too bright. I never really venture away from the neutral colours and I was really scared to buy a such a bright t-shirt, <laughs> but I slowly started to inject more and more red into my wardrobe. And I'm really happy about it actually, I think red suits me. So first I started injecting more colour by buying little accessories. And this was actually my first accessory that had red on it. And it was this Gucci bag which you've seen like 
million millions of times already <laughs> then I got this uh, Jadio bracelet which I also wear as a choker if you watched my video you can see that I wasn't sure and I wanted to get a black one but I'm really happy that I made up my mind and got the red one because it's amazing I can't stop wearing it that's a pop of color to every outfit and it goes with all my clothes as well because I wear more neutral colors and more like safe colors and uh, yeah it makes an outfit look slightly brighter and yeah that's pop of color so I was slowly getting more and more into reds so I thought I have to find a red top or like a t-shirt I really wanted to buy a red t-shirt because I like to wear t-shirts with skinny jeans or my mum jeans and on top I put a blazer and I think it looks really cool so I found this t-shirt from and other stories I love and other stories this t-shirt is slightly oversized it's very like thin material I love to wear it with blazers on top as I mentioned and I love the color um, yeah I'm getting so obsessed with red now. By the way, if you're watching carefully, you might notice that my nail varnish suddenly changed colour. But this is because if you follow me on Snapchat, uh, some of you may know that I lost all my pre-recorded videos. So now I'm refilming this video again. Half of it got lost, unfortunately. Anyway, that's not important. It's a new collection. I think they had it in a different colour, but I really wanted to get the red one. But yeah, I think it's really cool. What do you guys think? I love the black stripes as well. Pink is so on trend this spring. I'll start with this jumper. This jumper is from United Colors of Benetton. I really like this one. It's not a bright pink. It's like a baby pink pastel color. And pastels are so, so on trend as well this season. I think I mentioned that already. But anyway, you definitely need a lighter um, knitted jumper for spring as it gets a bit chilly, especially here in England. Uh, it could get a bit chilly. Uh, especially in the evenings or like early in the morning. Sorry, this is perfect because it's not too thick, but it still keeps you warm. And uh, another big trend actually is wearing pink and red. So as you can see here, I have styled this pink jumper with a red pair of shoes. And I'm not sure how I feel about this trend. I'm not sure if I'll be wearing this. Uh, it's a bit weird wearing pink and red. I think the colors clash, but... Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Would you are you brave enough to wear pink and red? I don't know, <laughs> but it's so trendy, so I decided that I have to show it to you. It is this amazing blazer I got, and I styled it with this baby pink bodysuit. So it's like pink on pink, and uh, I really really like this blazer. It's really cool because it's like a nice like dusty rose color, and it's velvet like a suede material. It's slightly oversized but I like to be comfortable and I think this one looks really cool as well. I can't wait to wear it. It still has tags on because I haven't worn it yet. Uh, I got it recently but it's so, so beautiful. Another big trend is embroidery and embroidery has been very trendy for actually the past couple of months, like six, maybe six, seven months. I keep seeing embroidery everywhere, not only on tops, but like denim, jackets, even shoes. So if embroidered tops are not really your style, uh, maybe you can try embroidered shoes. Unfortunately, I don't have a pair of embroidered shoes, but I really want to pick uh, a pair because I really like them. Uh, they look really really cool and they make an outfit more interesting. Uh, as you can see here I am obsessed with the new uh, Gucci loafers that have embroidery on them. They are so stunning but if you don't want to spend that much on a designer pair of shoes Rive Island and Topshop has um, some really cool options as well so you might want to check them out. So another item I picked from my favorite and other stories store is this gorgeous jumper how beautiful is this color it's perfect for spring it's very like bright and i don't have anything like it in my wardrobe it's like a mustardy color it's again this light knit that will keep you warm uh, during the spring and it's not too thick it's slightly oversized and it's actually super long but i like to tuck it in my jeans you can see it here how i styled it as well i think this kind of color will suit everyone like different skin tones and like hair colors as well and it like makes an outfit so bright <laughs> uh, so yeah this is a great great choice for spring and again it's in this like bright pastel well is, is that considered to be pastel color not really but 
well, I do like it anyway. <laughs> so next I have to talk about trousers. And trousers like mum jeans are so out of my comfort zone. I never ever wear trousers. But I did find a really, really cool suit from H&M that I want to show you. As you can see, the blazer and the trousers are the same colour. But I'm so obsessed with this blazer. I saw it on the mannequin, actually. And I was like, oh my god, that looks so cute on the mannequin. It won't look the same on me, but I tried it on. Because I, actually, I always thought trousers and mum jeans make me look fat. So I've never really tried to wear this kind of style. But... I tried it on and it actually looks really cool on me. I'm loving the look. I'm so obsessed with trousers. They're so comfortable. They're like leggings because <laughs> they're so relaxed and they're perfect for spring as well. And I'm so obsessed with this set here with the blazer and the matching trouser as well. And as you can see, I love to style it with my grey mules, which I'm obsessed with and I'll talk about them a bit later as well. But I also like to wear it with a grey top. So I like Gray, I'm gray, I'm gray, everything gray. I'm a bit obsessed with gray right now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but you can also wear it with a shirt, with a white shirt, and it looks absolutely amazing with a white shirt on. Again, you can wear this to work or you can wear it more casual by adding a pair of sneakers. Actually, this kind of trousers look amazing with white sneakers on. So maybe you can try that as well. Now I have another pair of trousers to show you. Next, I have another pair of trousers to show you, and I can't stop buying trousers, actually. I picked up a few other pairs, but I'm not going to include them in this video. I will show you these ones because they're my favourite as well. These are, again, from H&M, and they, again, have stripes. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're very, like, slightly, like, baggy and relaxed as well, but you can totally dress them up or down and these are in a dark navy colour which I absolutely love. I love to wear these with oversized jumpers or with a t-shirt underneath and a blazer on top and I think it looks really really cool and as I said trousers are so in right now everyone's wearing trousers uh, no one's wearing my favourite skinny jeans anymore. <laughs> so the next big trend I want to talk about is slogan t-shirt. And I'm talking about t-shirts that display your current emotions or send a message. I don't really have that many slogan t-shirts, but I'm actually looking to buy some and I'm actually hunting down two t-shirts that are sold out. One of them is this one here that I'll show you on the screen. It's by Dior and it says, we should all be feminist. I'm so obsessed with this collection. It's the Jadio Spring 2017 collection. And this t-shirt is on my wish list. I want to buy it, but it's sold out everywhere, unfortunately, because all the big celebrities are wearing it and it's so popular. Hopefully I can find it, but I want to show you this because these kind of t-shirts that display a message are so trendy this spring. You definitely need one in your wardrobe. But if you don't want to spend £500 on a t-shirt like the Dior one, you can also go for something like this. Topshop has a very similar t-shirt that says feminist. And it's this one here, which is really cool as well. And it's, I think it was only £18 as well. Another t-shirt that I really want to buy is this one by Gucci. So big logos are also very trendy this season. All the big brands come up with like t-shirts with huge uh, logos like the big GG. Or if Saint Laurent has a t-shirt with a big YSL uh, letters on it as well. So I definitely want to buy this t-shirt as well. It's really, really cool. But you can also find a cheaper option if you... You are on a budget and you don't want to spend that much on a designer t-shirt. Here I have two other t-shirts that I want to show you that I've been wearing quite a lot. This one is by the Cubos and it's again with like a big print on it and these kind of prints are very trendy as well uh, so I like to style these with blazers and I think they look really really cool because they're a bit like casual and grungy but when you put a nice fitted blazer I think it looks really really cool and this one is from the Coupos as I mentioned they had an outlet sale um, I think last week but I'm not sure if it's still going on on their website so you might want to check that uh, if I can't find the exact same one I will link something similar down below but I also wanted to show you this one which is by Karl Lagerfeld and it's actually not that expensive it's still Karl Lagerfeld like a designer brand like a more pre premium brand but it's only £50 and this one is classic it's not seasonal so you can always find it in the boutiques or buy it online as well next I have to show you something that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe for spring and it is the wool waistcoat. I have this one here to show you which is a really cool light grey colour. It's perfect for spring, it's not a dark colour 
and it's a wool material so it will keep you warm and it also has this detail here like these big big hoops and hoops are so trendy as well but I'll mention them in a bit and uh, yeah absolutely love this one it's sleeveless but it will keep you warm and I love the look of it it's very smart you should definitely have one of these in your wardrobe for spring so I did mention hoops hoops are big go buy hoops guys <laughs> you definitely need to invest in a pair of hoops I had these for a while and I actually wanted to sell them but they're a present from my mum and I didn't really want to sell them because of that reason I'm really happy that I didn't sell them actually now because they are coming back and uh, these are Chanel, <laughs> absolutely love them, they're so so pretty and I started wearing them again. So yeah, I did want to mention hoops because they're a big trend as well. Uh, so if you don't have a pair, definitely go buy one. So, my, so this is my peekaboo. I have a what's in my bag video coming up very soon uh, and a review as well. But I wanted to show you this because this is my, my spring and summer bag. I love to wear this during the spring and summer period. I don't really wear it during the winter that much. But I love to wear it in the spring. It's such a beautiful colour. It complements all these clothes that I showed you here. I can wear it with so many different clothes. My one looks a bit crazy with all the pom-poms and the twilly and all that. But I, I love it. So yeah, I want to show you this one. Because I think it's a perfect bag for spring. So when I got this bag, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Because I buy designer bags. I don't buy like non-designer bags. And I wanted to return it. But then I was like... You know what, I really like this one. I know it's not designer, but it's so, so cute. And I would never actually buy a designer bag that looked like this because it's not a classic bag. And I would be scared to buy a designer bag with like rhinestones on it and in velvet pink. This one is really cool. It's actually really good quality. It's only £50 and it's so cute. I get so many compliments when I wear it. I wear it during the day when I'm more casual and don't want to wear my uh, designer handbags. And this one adds a pop of colour and I actually love to wear it with this mustardy jumper. I know it's a weird combination but I think it works. What do you guys think? You can see it here as well how I styled it. Let me know what you think but I love to wear it with that jumper. I think it looks really cool and it's so sparkly as well. And um, yeah, <laughs> I really like it. I know it's not designer and I don't have any other non-designer bags. This is actually my only non-designer bag. But... It's so cute. <laughs> I actually think Miu Miu has very like similar ones with rhinestones and like crystals on them which are really cool. But as I said, I wouldn't pay that much for embellished bag. So yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to talk about mules. Mules are so trendy this season. You definitely need a pair in your wardrobe. Here I have two pairs. This one is by Topshop. Unfortunately, these are not available anymore. I got them on sale a few months ago. But they have a very, very similar style. I mean, they have the same ones at the moment, but they're like different color. So I'll link them down below. I hope they're not sold out because I wear these all the time and I posted pictures with these on my Instagram. So guys, if you haven't bought them, <laughs> uh, they should be still available. And here I have another pair of khaki mules, which are slightly lower heel. These are so comfortable, you know me, I don't like to wear high heels, but these are the perfect, oh my god, sorry about my phone, <laughs> I forgot to switch it off. As you know, I don't like high heels and these are so comfortable, they're so trendy as well, and I really want to buy the Gucci ones. Have you seen them? They're so, so gorgeous. I'll show you them here on a picture. Unfortunately, the black ones that I want to buy are sold out at the moment, so I can't buy them, but I would definitely, definitely get a pair of those because they are gorgeous. They're so comfortable, I've already tried them on, I know which side. I should order online. I have a voucher so I can't wait to buy them. Similar heel height to these, slightly higher maybe, and they have the go and they also have the gorgeous fringes which are also very trendy and the GG logo on them as well. Okay guys, so that's all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my little spring 2017 haul. A lot of what you saw was based on my personal preferences, but so many of you requested to see a lookbook, so I thought I would show you what I like to wear during the spring. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'll be wearing this spring, what's your favorite trend, and if you would be trying out any of the trends I showed you in this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for your support. Like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. 
think that's all. <laughs> come say hi on Snapchat. I actually think Snapchat is the best way to come and ask me questions because I do reply to my snap quite regularly. It might take um, a few days but I, I will eventually reply. Bear in mind I am quite busy and I get emails and comments and messages. Oh, sorry, it takes it takes me time to reply to everyone, but I try to reply to everyone, especially on my Snapchat. Uh, also, come follow me on Instagram if you want to see outfit of the day looks. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.